Well, it is a chilly afternoon here in southern New England, but we've had quite the snow drought here in southern New England since early December, just three tenths of an inch of snow since de December 1st. And this next system coming in, not going to deliver much either. Now we will get potentially a little bit of light snow late tonight and early tomorrow morning before it changes over to rain showers. That's despite how cold it is right now. It's 27 degrees, feels like 16. Wind still out of the north, 10 to 15 miles per hour. They'll continue to drop. The humidity is very low and that dry air we've got to overcome. At the same time, as we track some uh, precipitation off to the west of us, uh, we're going to see an increase in the temperatures. So outside right now, about 26 degrees in Smithfield, 27 Providence and Newport, and about 31 in Westerly. Cold enough to probably keep the hat and gloves on if you're out running errands this afternoon. So those cold winds have been leading our weather headlines for today. Tuesday and Wednesday mornings commutes both looking a little unsettled, and then it's followed up by another shot of cold air late this week. Our live Doppler radar all quiet this noontime. And the rest of the day, I don't expect any weather related issues for you. You're going to get some high clouds increasing throughout the afternoon and evening as the temperatures reach up to the upper. Uh, 20s to lower 30s. Then during the nighttime hours, it's cold and dry. A few flurries at 2 or 3 in the morning and then a light rain or snow shower possible by 5 a.m. Here's the setup. High pressure is overhead right now, providing the dry air. And as it continues to build in, it'll also bring about some lighter winds. But I'm tracking this frontal system to our west. This approach of the warm front going to give us initial batch of flurries again as early as midnight or so. And then into the pre-dawn hours tomorrow, the latest computer models are showing that a lot of the precipitation precipitation while the temperatures are cold enough to support snow dries up. So we'll watch for that in the morning hours. Any showers should be very light in nature. Then you can notice that they do pick up as that warm air comes in. So at noontime, going to see just some rain showers. 10 o'clock in the evening tomorrow, going to continue with the risk of some wet weather. There'll be a little bit of a lull in between, but we've got a second low that'll develop, and that'll swing another batch of rain and snow showers into our area a late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning before that departs. So real winners in terms of snowfall with this system going to be up across northern New England, where parts of ski country could get over a foot of snow around here, much less. Let's get in close and show you the temperatures at midnight. It's still cold enough to support some snow, but again, there's just not much falling. This is at 6 a.m. And by that point, the temperatures at the coastline warming above freezing and we'll continue to see that trend. So while things really fill in by that point, you can see one, two o'clock in the afternoon, we're up around 40 degrees. So any snowfall tomorrow morning looks very light, a little coating possible, but the concern would be and maybe some slick spots for the morning commute. So we'll be watching for that early on our afternoon high are much warmer tomorrow into the lower 40s and on Wednesday that rain or snow shower possible in the morning and then some clearing skies and turning windy and drier to finish out the day on Wednesday. You can see those temperatures falling back to below normal for Friday and Saturday. Keeping a close eye on Sunday, computer models saying ocean storm forms. How close it comes will determine whether we get any snow out of that, but something to watch, of course, is the 